case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a 1988 United States District Court case in Illinois, Patricus v. Gamilla, plaintiffs filed a civil rights lawsuit against members of the Chicago Police Department and the Northeastern Metropolitan Group. The lawsuit accused the defendants of unconstitutional conduct during a raid at Carroll's Speakeasy, where they allegedly entered without warrants, forced patrons to lie down, performed pat-down searches, and took photographs without legal justification. The plaintiffs sought relief, damages, and class certification for approximately 50 individuals who claimed that their constitutional rights were violated. After consolidation, the court found that the proposed class met Rule 23's numerosity and commonality requirements for class action certification. As a result, certification under both Rule 23b2 and 23b3 was granted, and defendants' arguments against certification due to damages sought were deemed invalid. This decision highlights the importance of class certification when pursuing legal action on behalf of a group of individuals who have suffered similar injustices. The successful certification of the proposed class in Patricus v. Gamilla demonstrated that the court found the alleged violations to be significant and applicable to each class member, allowing them to move forward in their pursuit of justice. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.